Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The National Employment Program, launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as part of the Economic Recovery Plan, has achieved tangible successes to make the Bahraini citizen the first choice in the labor market. The Ministry of Labor was keen to offer jobs periodically through its website to help job seekers to access those vacancies easily. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the program is designed to make citizens the first choice of employment in the private and public sectors. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, outlined four key initiatives within the National Employment Program, which include launching an awareness campaign to encourage citizens to register in the National Employment Program, amending the unemployment insurance draft law in order to increase compensation fees, increasing the fees associated with the parallel Bahrainization system and the flexible work permit, as well as redesigning Tamkeen's training and wage support program. The National Employment employment program builds on the kingdom's long-standing efforts to further improve citizens living standards in line with his majesty the king's comprehensive development program the ministry of health has affirmed that the newly developed pfizer biontech covid 19 booster vaccine is available at the primary health care centers across the kingdom the ministry encourages those interested in receiving the booster shot to head directly to their primary health care centers without the need to register the newly developed vaccine is administered as a booster shot and targets the original virus strain and the Omicron variant to provide broad protection against COVID-19 and its mutations. The Ministry of Health noted that a list of primary health care center providers, uh, the new Pfizer-BioNTech booster shot, and can be found on the Ministry of Health website, healthalert.gov.ph. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan held a reception on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebration of its national days. On this occasion, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed, and members of the Embassy expressed their sincere appreciation and pride on this happy occasion as they extended their warmest congratulations and blessings to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Present at the ceremony was the Minister of Defense, Hawaja Mohammed Asif, representing Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Shahbaz Sharif, as a guest of honor, as he conveyed the greetings and wishes of the brotherly leadership and people of Pakistan to the leadership and people of the Kingdom of Bahrain on this joyous occasion. The ceremony was also attended by a number of senior military officials, ministers, members of parliament and Pakistani sheikhs as well as ambassadors accredited to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, press and businessmen, a large number of Pakistani citizens, as well as a number of Bahraini and GCC citizens studying in Islamabad. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Republic of India held a reception on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebration of its national days. Marking the occasion, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Republic of India, Abdurrahman Muhammad al gaud extended his warmest congratulations and blessings to His Majesty the King and to His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also praised the depth of the relations between the two countries and the two friendly people, stressing the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to strengthen its relations with the Republic of India in all fields. The guest of honor, the Minister of State for Indian External Affairs, V. Moralid Haran, delivered a speech in which he congratulated the Kingdom of Bahrain's leadership, government and people on this occasion, wishing the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. The ceremony was attended by senior Indian government officials, ambassadors accredited to India, diplomats and businessmen. The President of the Federation of the Arab Chambers and President of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Samir Nas, stressed the need to develop Arab economic partnership process for its positive repercussions on Arab economies. During his participation in the 28th session of the Arab Economic Forum held in Beirut, in the presence of Lebanon's Prime Minister Najib Miqati and the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghaid, and with the participation of around 350 senior leaders in the financial and economic institutions, Mr. Nas added that the formulation of common visions and developed that includes all the current global changes is a matter of importance for achieving the development and well-being of the Arab world and community. Nas affirmed that he will work during his presidency of the Federation of Arab Chambers to find practical and permanent solutions to the crises facing the Arab private sector and raising its level of growth in order to achieve sustainable Arab development for the benefit of the brotherly Arab people. 
The Lebanese Prime Minister honored Mr. Samir Nas in recognition of his active contribution to serving the Arab economy and his continuous efforts in supporting frameworks of joint cooperation between the Arab economic sectors. On the occasion of Bahrain's National Day celebration marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as a Muslim and Arab state founded by Ahmed al fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Ministry of Interior organized a parade in the presence of the Governor of the Northern Governorate, Mr. Ali bin al-Sheikh Abdul Hussein al asfur several directorates of the Ministry of Interior, the Police Musical Band, the Cavalry and Camel Riders participated in the parade which was held at Abu Sayyib beach in the northern governorate amid a wide turnout of citizens and residents who expressed honor in Bahrain police and the appreciation for their strenuous efforts in protecting the country and preserving lives and properties. They also marveled at the exceptional display and its role in reinforcing loyalty and patriotism among all members of the society.